Hi, it's Janet and welcome. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to figure out that I'm actually live. Um, there's always a little bit of a delay and I am so excited to be here and I'm so excited to be able to share with you the stuff that I'm going to be talking about tonight and to do it live. This is super awesome. And I get to give stuff away, which is super awesome. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being interested in what I have to share. Um, we're just going to hang out for a couple of minutes um, and give people time to join. So um, I'll just tell you a little bit about what to have in what we have in store tonight. Um, so we're going to be talking about decision making and how to do that from our hearts instead of our heads and how to make it soul led so that we know that we're making the right decision. And we're going to be talking about some tools um, that can help make that a whole lot easier. So of course, we're going to be talking about pendulums um, because uh, they're a great tool for that, and that's why I decided to give one away. Um, so we'll do that. If you are here live, so you have to be here live in order to win the pendulum. So if you are, um, go ahead and type in the comments and let me know that you're here so that I can enter your name in the draw. Otherwise, you can't win. Um, and then, so we're going to talk about pendulums, and then after that, we're going to be talking about muscle testing, um, which is is a tool, but it's not like an object because we just use ourselves, um, which makes it a lot easier in some senses, um, but also makes it a little bit more confusing um, in other ways. But we will get to that. Um, if you're just joining us, welcome, and thank you for being here. We're talking about decision making tonight and some tools that we can use to make that easier. If you would like to be entered into the draw for the pendulum, please comment and say hello and let me know that you're here. Um, hopefully I'll be able to see the comments. I can see that there's a couple of you with me right now, but I'm not seeing any comments. So, oh, there we go. There's one. Awesome. Okay, now they're coming in. Yay, there's always a delay and then I get a little freaked out. I'm like, oh no, they're not working. But they are. So, thanks for joining us. So, I'm excited too. So, if... <laughs> Tracy, this is my cat ears. So, if you don't understand that joke, the last time I did... Uh, Facebook Live in our group, I somehow managed to like turn on this filter on Facebook that gave me like little twitching cat ears and whiskers and a nose. It's it's in there. If you want to scroll back through the group, you'll be able to find it. And I couldn't turn it off, so I just did like I just talked for 20 minutes looking like a cat. Um, so this one I just look like me, but maybe again I'll do another one with a fun filter. Um, so if you um, have a pendulum, it might be good to have it with you right now so that you can look at it and play with it while we're talking about them. If you don't have a pendulum, um, maybe you'll win one. Um, otherwise, you can use anything that's similar. So like you can use a necklace that has a charm on it. You can use a piece of string with a ring on the end. Um, there's lots of ways to improvise pendulums um, and they all work relatively the same. Um, if the thing that you have dangling on the end isn't heavy enough, it won't work quite so well. So if you use like a needle and thread, that the needle generally isn't heavy enough unless you use like a big darning needle or something. Um, but yeah, you can totally improvise. So, um, but before we get to that, um, I just want to talk a little bit about me because who doesn't like talking about themselves, right? Um, 
I am Janet, so I'm the founder of the Soulful Schoolhouse, which is where we find ourselves right now. So thank you for coming over here and joining us. Um, I'm also the owner of Blue Dragonfly Energy Wellness Center. Um, I am an energy healer and a medium and a mentor, and I love to use all of my gifts to help people be awesome, um, whether that's healing, whether it's like, you know, physical pain and stuff that they're dealing with, whether it's emotional stuff that they're dealing with, or whether it's like growing your gifts and learning how to shine your light in the world. All of these things can be combined um, to help you live your best possible life, um, which is led by your soul and allows you to shine your light in the world. It's kind of my mission now to make sure that everybody is, is leading their fullest and most amazing life because like with everything that's going on in the world right now, we need more light. So there needs to be more of us out there doing what we do best. Um, it took me kind of a long time to get to where I am now. And um, I want to help other people be able to get to where I am faster. Um, you know, I, well, I've been a medium since I was born. I just didn't know what it was until a few years ago. And, um, you can't hide your gifts forever because they come out whether you want them to or not. Um, and also that's why it helps to have guidance so that when all the crazy shit starts going down, you're like, oh my God, what's going on? You have someone like me to help you and be like, no, it's cool. You're not crazy. You're, you're just a medium <laughs> or whatever. Um, so, so that's me. So I, I do group stuff. Um, I do classes, I do webinars. Um, I just want to like share and, and make, and make light. <laughs> and, um, I also work one-on-one -on -one with people. So energy healing sessions, um, I do mentoring, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to know more, you can always ask and keep an eye out for upcoming stuff. I'm always doing different things and, uh, yeah, so so pay attention <laughs> and uh, hopefully you'll figure out um, what's going on with you if you're having crazy moments and um, if you need help, I'm here. So if you're just joining us, I see another couple of people have come have come on so please comment and let me know that you're here so that I can enter you into the draw for the pendulum um, I will do that after because I'll have to go back through all the comments and and figure out who was here and who wasn't and who to enter into the draw and then I'll pull that afterwards so um so the webinar why I'm doing this so on on the website you'll see that um, I used to have a lot of trouble with decision making. I was really, really bad at it um, because I didn't like speaking up. I didn't like having an opinion. I didn't, um, I just didn't like it. it. It was, I don't know, it was too much pressure. I'd rather like sort of say and like make everybody else happy and be like, oh, you just do it. Um, and I got so in the habit of letting everybody else make those decisions because it was too uncomfortable for me um, that I let everybody else make decisions for me. Um, I mean, there was a few major things, obviously, you know, I decided what to major in in university and I decided to move to Germany and I did make some pretty major decisions. But the little stuff, um, like what to have for dinner or stuff like that, I hated doing. Um, and even, um, some sort of those medium size decisions, I would just pass off to other people. And after a while, when you keep doing that, when you keep letting other people make your decisions for you, suddenly your life isn't really your life anymore. Um, which makes sense because other people are deciding which direction your life is going in and what you're doing and where you're going and when things are happening. And suddenly you're like, um, where, where am I and what's going on? And I totally ended up kind of losing myself. Um, so I realized I needed to start taking some of that back 
and started making my own decisions. Um, but because I was so out of practice, I didn't really know how to do that. Um, but because I had, you know, I've been learning about metaphysics and energy healing and that kind of thing um, for most of my life, I had a lot of these tools to fall back on. Um, so I started using them like a lot. <laughs> I spent months, probably years attached to my pendulum. And I would ask it all sorts of things all the time. Like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right choices? Um, and depending on what you're asking your pendulum, you may or may not get a very clear answer. Um, I would sometimes demand a little too much from it um, and then not get the answers that I wanted. Um, and sometimes you don't get the answers that you want. That's another thing to be careful of. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, so awesome. I'm so glad that you're all here. If you're just joining in, again, please comment and let me know that you're here so I can enter you into the draw for the pendulum at the end. Um, if you have a pendulum, make sure you have it with you. If you have a pen and paper, you might want to do that. A glass of water, cup of tea, whatever. Um, so let me know that you're here. Comment, say hi. And now that I have told you a little bit about me, and I've told you a little bit about why we're doing this, let's get to it. So the first thing we're talking about tonight is pendulums. Um, if you missed it at the beginning, after we talk about pendulums, um, we're going to be talking about muscle testing. Um, so the first thing is the pendulum. So like I said, if you don't have an actual pendulum, you can use anything else instead, like a necklace that has a charm on it, or you can a piece of string with a ring on it, um, anything like that. So my pendulum um, just has this fun glass beaded chain. Um, it can be just be a regular chain. And mine is a venturine, which is a gemstone, um, which is has um, a lot of properties that make it a really good pendulum. If you're shopping for a pendulum, you can find them made out of gemstones, you can find them made out of metal, um, you can find them made out of pretty much anything, glass. Um, and most often they're pointed um, because sometimes when we're using pendulums, um, you can use a pendulum chart, so like a piece of paper um, that has stuff written on it and then you'll ask the pendulum to point to the right answer, sort of like a magic eight ball. Um, and then it's, sometimes it's useful to have a point on it. Um, I have a crystal chart and it's probably got like 50 different things on it and they're teeny, teeny, tiny. So it is kind of handy to have the point on the end so I can see exactly where, what it's pointing to. Um, but for our purposes today, because we're just talking about tools to help us with yes or no answers, that's what we're focusing on. Um, not all decisions are yes or no. Um, you know, some things have, have a broader scope than that. Um, but today we're just focusing on yes or no. So um, if you are going to use your pendulum, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's clean and cleared. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to run it underwater like just in the tap is fine. Um, books will say that, you know, it should be <laughs> put it in a creek or some clear spring water or something like that. Whatever is handy for you, but it also works just to run it under the tap for a little bit. You can put them under the moon or um, any number of things. But and you'll want to clear it on a regular basis, just like you would at a regular crystal or gemstone. Um, even if it's made of metal, you still want to make sure, because it's conducting your energy, you want to make sure that it's clear. Um, and if you let other people play with it, you'll also want to make sure that it's cleared and tuned back um, to you. So once you've cleaned it, you want to um, hold it and sort of um, attune it to your energy. Um, so if you do Reiki, you can put some Reiki in there. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, just hold it for a bit, think nice thoughts, um, and make sure that it's sort of 
knows who you are. Um, after we do that, we want to program it. So for yes or no, we have two basic options. Um, so some people like their pendulums to go in circles. So you would want it to, <laughs> don't ever let anyone touch it. Only let people you trust touch your pendulum and your gemstones and anything else that you use for energetic purposes. Um, so you can make it go clockwise um, for yes and counterclockwise for no. Um, that for me is far too confusing. Um, and I have to think way too hard about whether it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. So I prefer to do um, back and forth for yes and side to side for no. So if you have your pendulum with you, um, what you can do is, you know, hold it up and decide for yourself which if you want to do circles or lines, basically, um, and then ask it, say, show me yes. So you can see that my pendulum is going back and forth. It's a little bit, well, maybe hard to see in the camera, um, but it's clearly going back and forth. So yours will either be going back and forth um, or around in a circle one way. Um, and then you can tell it to stop. And then you can say, show me no. And now you can see it's going back and forth the other way. So those are my two very clear answers. So now you can say stop. So if you're just using a pendulum for the first time, um, it will take some getting used to um, and some practice. So mine, you know, is very clear and very quick because I've been using this pendulum for ages and ages and ages. So it's, it's like that. Um, if you're just starting, it may take some time um, to get an answer and it may just be very small movements um, at the beginning. So don't worry about that, just keep, keep practicing. Um, so once you have figured that out, um, you're good to go. So you can just ask questions and sometimes it's good to start out by asking questions that you already know the answer to. You know, so I can, um, say, oh, if you notice that I'm holding it half halfway up the string, that's just because um, of the camera, so that you can see the whole thing. So if I hold it all the way at the end, um, it's kind of, it's a little bit too long. Anyways, so start with something that you know. So you can say, you know, is my name, whatever your name is. So I can say, is my name Janet? And we have a very clear Yes. So if I say stop, then I can say, is my name Carmen? Hmm. And for some reason, I'm not getting a no. I'm just getting a very still. It's actually vibrating a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, um, that it's shaking a little bit. That's not my hand, that's actually the pendulum, um, which is signifying that it's, it's a very, like, I'm staying in the middle and I'm not moving, I'm not gonna show you this answer, um, which could just be because it was a stupid question. Um, so that happens too. So we can ask a little bit something more, but the, the questions, <laughs> maybe I was a Carmen in a past life, um, not to my knowledge, but I don't know most of the time what I was named in past lives. So that is entirely possible. And then I just got really confused because it's like, ah, well, you're not Carmen now, but you were, and you can't tell me that many details. Um, so when you're asking questions and you want a yes or no, the easiest way is to make sure that they're questions about yourself. Um, like, we don't want to ask, like, will it rain tomorrow? Because our souls don't know if it's going to rain tomorrow. I mean, your arthritic thumb might know if it's going to rain tomorrow, but 
in general, we need to ask these yes or no questions when we're working with these sorts of tools. We need to be asking questions that we deep down really know the answer to. Um, and that's what we're really getting at with these tools is finding the answers that we already know in our core, in our depth, but they're getting too muddled because we're thinking too much about them and we're thinking ourselves in, thir in circles, in circles, um, or we're thinking too much or we're just letting everything else get in the way and we're not getting a clear answer. So that's what these tools are helping us to do is get that clear answer that we already know to be true. Um, and so, oh, that's a nice way, Nicolina, yeah. Using your pendulum to select your cards for the day. Um, there's so many things um, that we can use these for. So when we're using a pendulum, generally this is something that we're going to be using, you know, when we're at, when we're at home, um, because we have it with it. We're not going to like whip this out when we're, you know, in the middle of the grocery store, excuse me, and we need an answer for something. Um, generally we're going to be using a pendulum when we're when we're at home and when we're quiet and we need some help tuning into something. Um, if we're out in public and we need an answer to something, we need, our, we need help making up our minds over what we're going to do or what we're gonna buy, um, that's where I like to use muscle testing. Um, by the way, if you, have, if you have any questions, you know, type them in and ask away and I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, so, muscle testing. Muscle testing can be done a lot of ways and the principle of it is that, um, like with a pendulum or like with a lot of energetic tools, we already know the answer. It's just getting lost somewhere between our soul and the expression. So muscle testing tunes into what our souls already know and what our bodies already know um, before our head gets in the way. So you can do muscle testing. You can have somebody else muscle test for you. And a lot of times um, naturopaths, homeopaths, um, different types of healers will muscle test for you if they're trying to decide um, which remedy, which vitamin, which supplement is good for you, they'll muscle test for you. And that could be, um, a lot of times you'll see, you know, that, that thing where people are like, hold out your arm, and then somebody will press on your arm. Um, and if it stays up strong, that's a yes answer. And if it's, you can, they can push it down really easily, that's a no answer. Um, or it can be as easy as sort of lifting your wrist. Um, but that's, those are methods that's when other people are testing for you. It's really hard to like push on your own arm. So we have um, other ways of doing that. So one of the things that we can do is just by standing up, um, which I'm not gonna do because then I'll be off camera. But if you stand up straight, and you ask for a yes answer, your body will lean forward slightly. You'll feel the weight more in your toes and a no answer will be a little bit of a backward lean. It's very, very subtle most of the time, like you're not gonna be like falling right over, um, but you'll just feel a shift or you'll feel a pull or a push, either way. Um, some people like to do, to do that, um, but you do have to be standing for it. If you wanna stand up and give it a try, you can go right ahead. Um, that's not my favorite way of doing it. Um, so what I like to use are my hands because they're always there. So there's a two-handed method and there's a one-handed method. So the two-handed method is you make a circle with one hand. So you, you touch, um, I touch like these two fingers and my thumb together and make a circle. And then, so you're using this doesn't matter if you're yes or no is backwards, as long as you know what 
what yes is and what no is. Um, most people, it's a lean forward for yes and it's a lean backwards for no. But if you test and say, show me yes and show me no, and you're the other way around, that's totally fine. As long as you know what it means, perfect. So um, circle with these two. And then the same fingers on the other hand, you kind of do that with. And then you want to stick these ones into the hole. And what the purpose of this is to pry that circle apart. That's what you're going to be trying to do. So if you ask a no question, it's going to be really, really easy to pop that open. Just like when somebody is trying to push down on your arm, um, the no is really easy. And if it's a yes, it's going to be really hard to pry that open. Because um, when, when we're yes, when we're positive, when we have that right answer in our soul, our, we're strong and we know it. So that's what's helpful to remember if you can't remember which one is which. Like yes is strength, is positivity, is um, yeah, we know this. So, hi Tammy, thanks. If you're just joining us, make sure to say hi so that I know you're here and I can enter you into the draw for the pendulum later. So we're talking about muscle testing. Um, so this is one of the easiest methods that I use, is the two-handed method. So we wanna say, um, so no, open, easy is no, open, more difficult. You'll still be able to pry it open because, you know, you do have some strength, but um, it'll be a lot harder. So if we wanna try the same thing again, and try it with your name and say, my name is Janet. And it's really like, I'm really, really pushing and I can't open this um, circle. And if we say, uh, <laughs> now I'm afraid to pick another name in case it doesn't work. Um, my name is Cynthia. Okay, there we go. I've never been a Cynthia in a past life. So it's a lot easier. So if we want to use this, um, you know, just for helping to make decisions. Um, you know, if, if you're torn between um, the new Brene Brown book and the new Gabby Bernstein book, for example, and you don't know which one, is really going to help you the most in this instance, and you only have the money for one book right now, um, hold it, pick up the book, um, and then try and say, is, is this the book I should be reading right now? And muscle test for it, and then pick up the other one, or sit it in your lap so that you've got both hands free, and muscle test for it, and it will let you know Rather than you being like, well, this one's $1.95 cheaper than that one, so maybe I should buy that one. Or, you know, this one has a blue cover and that one has a green cover. And maybe that's a good way to decide because I can't muscle test for it and then you'll know. Um, so that's the two-handed method. The one-handed method is the one that I use all the time because it's simple and it's discreet and Nobody can see me doing it, so I do it all the time everywhere I go. <laughs> um, it did take some time for me to really sort of get the hang of it. Um, it's much more nuanced than this one, um, or you know, the leaning forward and back. Um, but it's just a one-handed method, and again, it, it's these same two fingers and a thumb, and you just sort of rub them together. And what happens is that if it's a yes answer, it's really, really easy. Your fingers just you know slide right over your thumb. But if it's a no answer, it's like your fingers and your thumb are squeezing together really hard and it makes it really, really hard to slide your fingers over your thumb. So, um, so a yes is easy and a no is hard, which is kind of the opposite of this one, where the no is easy and the yes is hard. And maybe, maybe like the standing one, maybe it works the opposite way for you. Maybe for you, 
you know, yes is hard and no is easy. No, it doesn't matter which hand you use. Um, I use my right hand because it's my dominant hand. Um, so I'm a little more fine tuned with that one, but you can just as easily use it on the other hand. And sometimes actually, if I can't figure out which is which, I'll try it on the other hand. Like if, if I'm doing a lot of muscle testing in a row um, about things, then I sort of start like getting confusing myself and then I'll switch to the other hand because it's just you process it a little bit differently. So you can use either or or both. Um, so um, if you're for if you're in the grocery store and you know you want to tune into which food um, your body really needs right now. So maybe your body is really craving magnesium. Um, so you, you know, you just, it'll be like a really strong yes answer when you get to bananas. Um, but you can literally go through the product section and well, you could do it through the whole grocery store too. And, you know, pick up a food and be like, is this good for me? And is this going to like really nourish my body and muscle test for it? Um, if you have an allergy, it'll be like, no, don't eat that. Um, and it's, it's really handy. Like if you're having a craving for something, you know, you shouldn't eat, um, you'll be like, oh, should I get this? And your body will be like, no, of course not. And then you're like, oh, right. And you can put it back down, um, and not have to like stand there and debate with yourself and be like, but I really want it. Or you can totally ignore your muscle testing answer too, and just eat it anyways. But um, I know I've been going through a lot of this, um, pretty quickly. So if you have questions, um, be sure to answer, be sure to answer, be sure to ask so that I can answer them. Um, and yeah, I have totally no idea what time it is. Oh, it's eight o'clock already. All right. So tonight we have talked about tools for yes and no answers. So we talked about pendulums and how to use them to get yes or no answers. And we've talked about muscle testing to get yes or no answers. And um, because those are really the, the best tools to use for straight up yes and no. There are a lot of other tools that we have, spiritual tools um, that tune into our energy. Um, that help us with sort of the broader questions that aren't just a simple yes or no, where we need sort of more guidance or we need inspiration or we need direction. Um, there's tools like Oracle cards. Um, there's tools to help us sort of clear out all the crap so that we can just listen to ourselves a lot more clearly, like, um, smudging and energy clearing, um, um, crystals and gemstones, which, you know, my pendulum is made of a gemstone, but we can also just use them. I actually have, um, one in my pocket. Um, I have a jet in my pocket right now. Um, there's usually a crystal on me at some point for something. Um, and we are also... Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Uh, other tools and other methods and things that we can use um, to help get closer to our our souls, so that we um, can get that direction and the guidance and stuff that we need. Um, and I'm actually going to be running a course on some of these other tools starting at the end of November, where we're gonna learn about oracle cards and how to use them and how to choose them and which one's the best one and how do you pick them and how many do you pick? And all of those questions. We're going to talk about grounding ourselves um, and being energetically protected while we're working with energy and while we're walking around in the world so that everybody else's crap doesn't bog us down and get in the way of us listening to our souls. We're going to learn about 
smudging and clearing our houses of messy energy that gets in our way um, and clearing ourselves of messy energy that gets in our way um, and how to do that and what to use and um, we're also going to talk a little bit about crystals and gemstones and how they can help and how do you choose a crystal and where should I use it and what should I use it and there's a gazillion questions and I can actually talk literally for hours about crystals and gemstones um, which is also why I have a separate crystals and gemstones class um, and I'll be doing one of those in December um, but we're going to talk about the basics in this course too so if you would like to join me, I would love that and learn about sort of listening to our souls um, more clearly and getting better answers to run our lives in a, well, in a more soul-led way. <laughs> and the reason that we want to do that is because when we're doing that and when we're listening to our souls, we're going to be more fulfilled. We're going to be more joyous. We're going to be more abundant. We're going to be more successful. We're going to be more awesome. And everybody wants that. So the course starts at the end of November on the 27th. It's four weeks. So we're going to do videos and worksheets. And there's going to be a Facebook group just for us. And there's going to be live calls where we can do Q&As. Everything is online so that everybody everywhere can do them and join us and be awesome because everybody everywhere needs to be awesome and be light and be joyous and be fulfilled. So yeah, everything's online and by email and available to everybody. Um, and because you guys are awesome and you were here tonight, I have a special bonus for you. Um, if, so somebody tonight for joining me live is getting a pendulum for free. And the reason I'm going off on a tangent here, so just join me. Um, <laughs> the reason I don't have like the pendulum to show you and be like, Hey, this is the one I'm giving away is because I wanted to know who would win first. And then I can choose the pendulum specifically for you, sort of tune into you energetically and buy you the best pendulum for you and not just like buy a pretty one, which would be great, but maybe not be like a good match for you. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So um, those of you who are here tonight get somebody is going to win pendulum. And also... For those of you on the webinar, um, you actually get two bonuses if you want. So the first bonus is a code for uh, $30 off the price of the webinar, the webinar, the course. So it's regular $127. And so $30 off brings it down to $97. Um, that's the early bird special. And that runs until Friday at midnight. Um, and you will need the code SOUL, S-O-U-L, for that. I'll be sending all of this to you in an email, so like, you know, you don't really need to write it all down. But if you want to write it all down, um, you'll need a code for that. So the other special bonus, only for the people here tonight on the webinar or the people who are watching the replay of the webinar, um, is a free oracle card reading um, with me, and which can be done live, like this, like over Zoom, um, or I can just email it to you, but that has a value of $44. So that is just um, for the people on the webinar. So, and that expires tomorrow at eight o'clock. So you've got a 24 hour window if you want the Oracle card bonus and you've got a three day window if you want the $30 bonus. So you can sign up at my website. So the address is really ridiculously long and I apologize in advance, but it is blue dragonfly energy wellness center with an R E dot com slash life tools and that will take you to the sign up page and then you need to enter the code soul s-o-u-l 
Um, so you'll sign up on the page and then you'll get an email directing you to the payment. And then when you pay, you enter the code sold. And then I will see that if you sign up before tomorrow night at eight o'clock, you also get the Oracle card bonus. I hope that's clear. It makes sense to me in my head. If you have any questions, let me know. I will also be emailing you all the details. Um, and yes, if you are here for any of you late joiners who still want to win a pendulum and haven't said hello, say hi. If you have any questions um, that you've thought of in the last few minutes while I've been rambling um, about pendulums or about muscle testing, please ask and let me know so that I can answer them. But I've already been talking for a long time and I don't want to keep you, um, you know, for no particular reason. And I'm fidgeting a lot with my hands. Um, <laughs> so everybody who was here live has said hello and should be entered into the draw. Um, oh, well, that's a question. What kind of truths can we expect our souls to know? They will, your soul will know all the truths. Um, your soul knows, obviously, knows everything. The difficulty comes in receiving the messages. Um, so it's not really a matter of the kind of truths because your soul is truth um, and tunes into the truth of yourself and the truth of the universe. Um, it's the, the trouble is trying to get that message from, from our core to out through our bodies and to our minds so that we know what to do um, and how to heed the call of our souls. Um, I hope that helps. Did that answer your question? Does anyone else have any questions? I mean, even if it's not necessarily di directly related to, to pendulums or to um, muscle testing, <laughs> sort of, thank you. Um, okay, well, I'm sorry if I didn't answer it directly. <sighs> You're very welcome, Bev. Thanks for joining. Um, maybe Lincoln, you and I can have a, a more direct conversation about this offline and then you can respond a little bit and, and sort of pick my brain a little bit more about um, what more you were getting at. Because um, I don't think I quite understand in your very brief question um, the answer that you were looking for. So, all right. If that's it, then thank you so much. Stay tuned in the group for the um, winner's announcement of the draw. And then I will contact you to get your information to deliver or um, mail you the pendulum. Um, and also, I hope you stay in the group. I know that I kind of dragged you here in order to have this live, but um, I'd love for you to stay. There's always something going on. It's a newish kind of group, so we're still building, we're still um, doing different things, um, but members of my group will always get first dibs on classes and courses and specials that I'm having. So it's, it's a good idea from a financial perspective just to stay in the group as well. Um, and yeah, I'm always here for you. If you have any questions, you can always message me, email me, whatever. And I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So thank you so much for being here with me tonight. And I will talk to you soon and expect a uh, post here on Facebook and expect an email from me soon. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.